Welcome back in to Call It A Night. I'm Julie Stewart-Binks, and I'm excited to be joined by American professional boxer Demetrius Andrade, who is getting ready to defend his WBO middleweight title against Luke Keeler this Thursday at the Meridian in Miami on DAZN. And uh, you just were saying to me, everything's ready to go. What's it like a couple days leading up to the big fight? Getting the mind right, you know, paying attention to, like, the, the details, the small things. And um, getting ready to tune in and let the fire erupt. Man, I love that energy. What did you just do right there? <laughs> <laughs> I just let a little out, just a little, bit, you know, a little, you know, spark. You know. What do you? What is that like? How, how would you describe what you just did on TV for us? <laughs> uh, just a nice crisp jab down the pipe. Wow, you know, just one of those. <laughs> Boom, a little whap. Okay. Speaking of jabs, you said that you're gonna give Luke the beating of his life. What does that look like? Ah, man, come Thursday night, I guess you have to tune in and figure it and find out. Yeah, okay, and <laughs> when we do that, it will, like, what is that? I mean, if I, if it's, like, if you're explaining it to me and I didn't know boxing that well, like, what does that look like? You you knock him out, you, you send him home well, crying. Well, yeah, definitely, you know, I mean, <clears throat> it's a sweet science. It's, like, you know, a, a knockout is, you know, it's a knockout. You yeah. Knock somebody out, but beating somebody down they go remember that beating. Yeah. That thing's going to hurt. <laughs> so you almost like don't want to knock them out because you want them to feel it. Yeah, you want them to be there the, the beating, whole time. Like, you, know, you know, your dad used to, you know, for me, I used to get work back in the day. Oh, okay. Didn't I tell you not to touch that? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So One, those type of Using beings. a lot of childhood repressed memories to beat Luke no, but that Healer was, then. That's just <laughs> <laughs> so something like that, right? Like right, you, got, you use what you can, right, yeah. in those moments. Yeah, for sure. You know, he was running his mouth. He was saying a lot of things. I'm like, you know, don't disrespect me. Put some respect on my name. Yeah, yeah. He can't, he can't be dancing on any grave when he hasn't done anything yet. Yeah, for sure. He said that you were delusional yeah. for thinking that you want to fight Triple G and Canelo. I mean, how's, what's your response to that? Uh, I mean, um, I'm three-time world champion, 2000 Olympian, undefeated. I mean, why not? And he's a nobody, right? You know, I'm not. I, I'm not going to disrespect anybody that stepped into the ring and put their life on the line. Mm -hmm. Not saying that he's a nobody, but he's nobody to try to like downplay my success. Right. Yeah. But that's good. Then you can you have all this ammo then, right? Yeah, for sure. It's almost like for thank sure. you Luke, for. I am your father. <laughs> yeah, man, you've got you've got a whole lot of different impressions and people, characters going on there. What else you got? Who else you like to to use? Um, you know, it, it just it just comes out as as we talk. As okay, we well, we'll see who else <laughs> might pop out in a second. You are from Providence, Rhode Island. You're a Patriots fan. How does <laughs> how does it feel that the Tom Brady era is over now? Um, you know, everything got to come to an end. We had a it was a great ride, it was some great moments, and um, you know, like Tom Brady lives on. You know? Man, it sounds like you're accepting defeat. He's oh, he get old. People get old. <laughs> People get old. You can't so stay you're like, forever. so you feel kind of like he might be, it might be time for the next chapter. Like you, you know, you know that's that's if that's that was him. to happen. That's that's that's. that's his you think he's obstacle. still like having you know you go you put your body through so much. Do you think that he still could like keep playing? Like how much more does he have left in the tank? Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know how, how the physical abuse, how the, mm -hmm. you know, how how's he, how's he taking it, how's his body. I don't really know, you know. I, yeah. I can only know how, what I go through. He only knows what he goes through, and if he feels like he still got some juice, then give him the the shot to do what he do. Right. I mean, he he does know how to play the the sport well, and if he does, you know, want to retire, he needs to just be a coach for the Patriots. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that'd be that's a great option. Did. He just coaches with Bill. Okay, uh, before we play a little fun game, um, I got to ask you, though, what football player, like what type of football player or what football player do you see you would want to be? You're like, that's me. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, today or like in general? Like back in whenever, the day, whatever uh, you feel. I was like Randy Moss back in the day. Mm, <laughs> like nice. Do my little shuffle. You know? Yeah, show me some of that. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> to, um, Terrell Davis. Or he's a, well, I thought I was a running back at time. I'd come through and bust. Me. Ah, get off me. Ah. Yeah, love that energy. I don't need, I love it. And it's also, you're, that, those are more like offensive players, though. I would have thought you wanted to, like, tackle someone. 
Uh, yeah, I can run somebody over. Okay. <laughs> Use those legs. All right. So because you've been, um, you know, you, you've heard I'm a lot Smith. of. Yeah. Can't touch this. <laughs> also a great option. You've heard a lot of people, you know, you were just talking about, you know, you hear the chirps, the trash talking, all that kind of stuff. A lot of players hear that on the field. And we're going to play a game. I don't know if you've ever played Mad Libs before. So what it is, is we're going to give you like a little fun trash talking thing. You don't know what it is, though. So okay. I'm going to ask you like like the, the name of something, a noun, da, da, da. You tell me it, and then we're going to write it in, and you're going to read it to camera. Okay? So it's like. You don't know what it is yet. Okay. All right. Okay. Give me an animal. Hmm. I would like to say tiger. Okay. A place kids go. Zoo. Great. And something small. Um, a yo-yo. <laughs> a yo-yo is quite small. Okay. All right. While we calculate those results. What you're going to do is you're going to read this to the camera, okay? Like you're, you're giving a trash talk, okay? Okay. Hey, Patrick Mahomes, you look like a hairless baby tiger. You don't belong in the NFL. You should be under adult supervision at the zoo. Grow up. Grow up, you little yo-yo. That's perfect. That was beautiful. Awful. You put him in his place. Yeah. What? You little yo-yo. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that out. That's unique. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Right, you know, you, you got a big fight on Thursday against Luke Keeler. Hopefully, you'll be defending that that big belt you showed us. So. Oh yeah. We want to see it back again. Um, all right, guys. Make sure to stay tuned. More on Call It a Night from the Super Bowl when we return after this break. Hey everyone, JSB here. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Fubo Sports on YouTube, or else I guess you could watch puppy videos. That sounds good.